Defend me.
Tonight, we build a great silver statue in his honor, and into it we shall place the power of the most ancient blood. By this ritual shall we rule! So, it is you. We haven't forgotten your deeds in Vienna, Orsi. Bless my soul! The Prussia! Could it be? <laughs> A Katarina's blue? How extraordinary! Wilhelm, and what was your name again, lad? Mark my name well, Mercy. For the devil will wish to know who delivered me into his cheerless realm. Tell the devil thou wert dispatched from Earth by Christoph Romulus. Christoph Romuel, whose soul he shall never possess as long as there is hope beyond all hope in this world. Well, I remember you now, Crusader. You eliminated some competition for me in the old days. That tedious La Sombra judgment. <laughs> oh. I remember as if it was yesterday. You escaped my dungeon, you naughty boys. <laughs> we apologize for not killing you then. We'll make up for it today. With a gallon of blood for every drop you've spilled from Alexandra. Ooh, your hate is so delicious. My children. I'll make up for it in a far more valuable treasure than my humble blood. This is a new era, full of opportunities we could only begin to imagine in the Dark Ages. Then, 
I thought power came from the church. That's why I had you kill Luther Black. Then times changed, and power grew from the temporal government. But do you know where power really comes from? Huh? You bore me, businessman. Everyone knows that corporations rule today. Wrong! <laughs> All mortal power is fleeting. A new age is about to begin. An age where we kingly are restored to rulership of the world. An age undreamed of. And it begins now. Tonight, at the eve of a new millennium. <laughs> The new millennium doesn't begin for another year. 2001? Uh, oh, hush. We know what we're doing. Just think, Crystal. An eternity of perfect power. With no antediluvians to keep us in check. Hmm? So, thou art in league with the Fiend. Where is Vukotwak? Oh, you are so judgmental. Vukodlak acts on our behalf. If he does not, your antediluvian grandsire will rise up and drag you into the grave. But Vukodlak can pull them up first and feed upon them. And who will stop him then? Stop him? He'll share power with you. He'll restore our rightful heritage as the true gods of the Earth! I can get you a place at the table with him. Your old friend has joined him willingly, and you can too! What was her name? The little nun? Heska. That was it! No! Send me. Send me. Everyone. Send me. Send me. Turn to me! Where is Vukovac? That we cannot tell you. Do not tell them, sisters. 
The fiend is below the blackened church to the north. There you'll find him, below, in his cathedral of flesh. Little good this will do you now, as he arises in but a few moments. Stand thy ground!
Turn to me. Stand thy ground. thy ground. Stand thy ground. Stand thy ground. To the abyss. Stand thy ground. Stand thy ground! Stand thy ground! Stand thy ground!
really. It, it's what is this monster? Uh, I so what? It, what could, nay, I shall fight thee to stop thy mad scheme. Draw the precious blood from my body to sustain me. Oh.
I am the wall of memory. I contain the secret thoughts of Inezka. I am damned. In the holy orders, I once dreamed of the eternity of bliss that would be mine for my devotion to the Lord. Eternity is now mine, but not bliss. I shall live as long as a voivod, or as long as a voivod is pleased with me, or as long as a voivod is pleased to defile me. Heavenly bliss is not to be my lot, only empty torment. Yet still I dare to hope, still I live. Oh, Aneska. I have lived for fifty years. All I loved are dead and gone. My beloved Kristoff has perished in the fall of Visserod. His sacrifice has preserved innocence in the world, and so I rejoice. But my suffering grows with each passing night. The Voivod takes great delight in seeing me rise with fresh hope, for it means he may once again drag me down. Should I surrender all hope and break as the Busa is broken, his pleasure would be at an end. Yet I will not abandon my hope, even though such hope fills his empty heart with glee, as it fills mine with pain. I cannot bear it. For more than two hundred years, I have suffered every possible form of humiliation and defilement. I have fallen from the chaste and inviolate woman I once was, yet I have borne it all with hope in my heart. But now I am sinking into the murky depths, and the last whisper of hope in me is fading like the final bubbles of breath from a drowning woman. As we grow close to the day of his resurrection, Vukud Lok has found the only defilement I cannot bear. He has decreed that I inflict defilement on others by binding innocent men and women into the walls of his accursed cathedral of flesh. His power compels me, and I cannot resist a direct command. I can endure my own degradation, but I cannot abide to befoul others. I fear I shall shatter like glass. My poor, poor Aneska. This is my doing. Every humiliation she suffers is on my head. Kristoff, you can't blame yourself for the choices she made. I, perhaps thou art correct. It's not your fault. You have to move on. It is two centuries and a half after Vukudlok took me, and his resurrection draws nigh. He now demands that I surrender the final shreds of my honor and perform evil acts of my own volition. I cannot defy my master's command that I defile others, and when I resist him, my poor body carries out his tasks against my will like a puppet. He's driving me mad, so I must change. Rather than resist the evil I am compelled to do, I now embrace it and perform my tasks with zeal. The master favors me, and as I embrace his evil, he gives me greater power. I have been Lebusa's equal since my arrival. Now shall I take over her duties, gladly trading the final measure of my innocence for control over the Voivod's worldly affairs. Tis the only way. <gasps> oh no! She gave up! I'm so sorry, Kristoff. Kristoff, are you okay? I mourn for her soul.
I have now lived more than 300 years past my natural lifespan. I have committed atrocities beyond all imagining, but my plan has succeeded. Though Vukodlak has extraordinary power, his exile from the world makes him weak. He must act through Labusa, who wields great power within our haven. But in just a few years I have usurped all of Labusa's power and left her a wretched outcast in the Cathedral of Flesh she helped build. Long ago the Voyevod stripped her of her soul and gave her power in exchange. Now that I have taken away that power, she is a pitiable creature indeed. She has no place here, yet she cannot leave. I would lament her fate, but I have no tears to shed, even for myself, for Resurrection Day draws nigh. Ugh, that gives me the creeps. This is supposed to be the purest woman in the world? Uh, Lily, I think you should really zip it. I'm only trying to help Kristoff get over... Zip it! <sighs> You're right. Kristoff, I'm so sorry. You must be feeling awful. I wish I could... My feelings be damned. Tonight, we slaughter every denizen of this foul place, or die in the attempt. On the eve of his resurrection, Vukodlak bade us slaughter the Premisel leaders, even as they began the ritual that would raise him from torpor. I have learned well the lessons of corruption, for I have turned my hand to the corruption of the Voyevod's resurrection. In the guise of offering wise counsel to Vukodlak, I poison his heart against those who could speed his resurrection. I accuse the faithful of disloyalty. I accuse the powerful of dangerous ambition. I praise the weak and ineffectual, like the merchant Toad Orsi, as obedient servants. Vukodlak's fear of losing power is far greater than his hope of gaining new power, and so he believes every doubt I whisper in his ear. And so he crushed his own resurrection. Wow. She sacrificed her innocence to stop Vukodlak. Vukodlak's rage is implacable. His resurrection has failed so often that he blames all the Semitsi of Europe. He desires to move our entire Cathedral of Flesh to the New World where we may begin again. This vast undertaking will involve many shipments of native soil. I am well pleased for this foolish migration shall take at least a century and further postpone his resurrection. Alas, I fear I can no longer prevent the Voivod's awakening. Lord Vukodlak has gained great power from the fear and apprehension of foot in the world on the eve of the new millennium. These fears feed him, and despite my greatest efforts, his resurrection is now inescapable. There are none who can help me. I can only hope against hope for the return of the one man Vukodlak fears. I pray that God restores Kristoff. Come with me quickly. I can help you. Why should I enter thy trap? Servant of the Fiend? Please, for Aneska! She says that if you would have hope even when your cause is lost, you should follow me! I go, but I go with my sword at thy back. Go now, there is little time. Destroy him, and topple this vile cathedral! Now, my dark love, I give you thanks for allowing me to serve you all these years. 
watching over your sweetly cruel visage in Torpor. My defilement is complete.
abyss with thee. Oh no. Oh no. To the abyss with thee. Oh no. To the abyss with thee. Oh no. To the abyss with thee. Oh no. Iraq.
spoke to her, Kristoff. Now that the fiend is no more, my unnatural power dissolves. I fear for my soul after my defilement, after all that I have done. But I rejoice that my last sight shall be thee. I only pray that one day I may attain thy forgiveness. I grant all forgiveness, though thou art blameless and pure in mine eyes. Then death finds me in joy and rapture. Renesca, my accursed soul trembles to utter these selfish, blasphemous words. But thou need not die if thou wouldst endure. Thou wouldst still have me, Kristoff. I scarcely dared hope. Thy love has redeemed me across a thousand years. I would that I could offer salvation in return. But I have none to give. Only damnation. Damnation with thee would be sweet as salvation. Let thy love cast me down and raise me up forever. Take me.